Good morning. Hey, let me show you what it looks like when someone buys a Peloton bike but it's too cheap to pay for the subscription. This thing is just a glorified exercise bike unless you pay every single month for a subscription. It's okay though. That's the only motivation I need. Actually, I'm more motivated. And I save like 40 bucks a month. I'm telling you, even if you don't like hot pot, which I don't understand why you wouldn't, you still need to get one of these hot pot pots just for cereal. Keeping the flavors separated and distinct. I told you guys before, cereal is my ultimate guilty pleasure. Wherever I'm traveling to, if you watch the videos, if I'm in a lounge that has cereal, I'm eating the cereal. And the problem is, I could literally eat a box of cereal and then go and have an all hot pot, which is pretty much what I'm gonna do today. I also know I can't do that because it's just gonna be a bunch of empty carbs and sugar. So before Magic Spoon reached out to me to be a sponsor, I had already found out about them and was gonna order some boxes just for personal consumption because I was looking for a cereal that was high in protein because I, I usually try to intake about 100 grams of protein a day and I was sick of drinking the powdery stuff. So when they reached out to me, I'm like, yo, send me some boxes. I gotta make sure I like the flavor. And I'm telling you, that's delicious. Also, this thing, every single serving, zero grams of sugar, 110 calories, three net grams of carbs, and 11 grams of protein. They come in a variety pack of four flavors. You got frosted, you got cocoa, you got blueberry, and fruity. Fruity and cocoa, my favorites. Like I said, it's low in carbs, it's gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, GMO-free, and for those of you who are on the keto right now, keto-friendly. I swear to God, I feel like everyone I know is on keto. I also just eat this in a hot pot. Also, what's so great about this, and another reason I love working with them, is they have a 100% happiness guaranteed. Meaning, if you don't like this for any reason, if you don't think it tastes good, if you don't like it at all, whatever reason, you get your money back, no questions asked. So click the link down below, use the promo code dumpling, or go to magicspoon.com slash dumpling. And uh, speaking of dumplings, after we eat this, let's go get some. Jacket weather already? Yes or no, high or low. Whatever they do, we can do it better. Blinding smiles and on point style. They can play well, but we foretell. But we foretell. I'm not joining our race. I'm not in it for the chase. Go be gone, I'm sure. Starting my day off here at the real Chinatown, New York City, the Murray Hill section of Queens. And this is a large area, large concentration of Korean restaurants, shops. A lot of these places you go in, they only speak Korean. So if you want to explore more than just that one little block of Koreatown, 32nd Street, Manhattan, come over here. And I've been wanting to come back to this place for a while. This place only serves one thing. Hi. Hello. Spicy, please. Spicy, how many? One. One, okay. Can I eat outside? Yes. Yeah. Says the recipe passed down through three generations. It's really good. Like, I used to eat here about once a week. It just makes you feel good, man. Huh? Love these Korean restaurants that just have one dish. And this, the beef stew, is all they serve. You can only have a choice between spicy or not spicy. And I don't even know why that's a choice. Ah, oh, bone soup in the morning. Oh, so good. Usually, with a lot of Korean soups, they don't season it that much. They give you salt and pepper and kind of adjust it for yourself. Oh, but this is perfect for me. The beef is stewed for hours, so you get that magnificent, yummy beef flavor. Look at the bone here. Cartilage, tendon. This is definitely one of those pick it up and gnaw on it kind of bones. Look how tender the beef is. Chopsticks, all you need to make it fall off the bone. Dip that in the broth a little bit. Mm bunch of panchan, kimchi, mm. omelet, which I also like to 
soaked into the bone broth. Put it on my rice, add a little bit of meat. Mm. We'll just take the omelet, a little rice inside. Give it some more broth. If the fattiness gets to you, just take one of these raw peppers and take a bite. Mm. Mm. Can't find this in Manhattan. Mm. Oh, that meat is so tender. I'm glad I was able to snag one of these two tables outside. Is this, this thing? I want to have it in one of these boiling pots. Yo, 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 yo. I know you follow me all the way back from Seattle, but let's not get too close here. Also, if you want, make a little som with the seaweed. Add on some beef, omelet, kimchi. I like to give it a little dunk so the seaweed soaks up the broth. And just bring that baby home. This place opens early too. So having this for breakfast, mm. that really start your day off right. That meal was so good, it deserves another meal. Hey. Isn't it crazy? It's jacket weather already. It's crazy. It's so cold today. I know. You ready for meal number two? One, mine oh. number one. Place I'm about to show you guys, best Korean pancake I've ever had in my life. Right here, Daesung Korean noodle. This place looks so new now. It wasn't like this before. This was like really homey. Now it's more really modern. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't been here in a year. So hand pulled noodles and then uh, the pancake. The oko pancake? pancake, yes. Seafood, oh, so good. Anything else, steamed dumplings? You don't want steamed dumplings? Yeah, steamed dumplings. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. Do you not agree though? Because I think this is true. This is the best Korean pancake. I think I've ever had in my life. Really? Because you know how cream pancakes, they always come out a little soggy? And then, Not here. Our pancake is here. Oh my gosh, here we go. My <laughs> love in the form of a pancake is this. Oh my God, it smells so good. Perfectly, beautifully plump. Mm. This is amazing dumpling, try it. How amazing is that dumpling? This is the best dumpling I've had, I think. This dumpling is just beyond amazing. First of all, the wrapper is like almost got a mochi texture to it. It's like it's really squishy and elastic -y and chewy in the inside. Mm. Oh my God. And what's amazing about these dumplings is a combo of pork and beef and veggies. Come here and try these dumplings. You guys know I take my dumpling business really, really seriously. It's one of the best dumplings you'll find in Flushing. I love their pancake. The reason I love their pancake, look how nice and toasty it is on the bottom. It's not gooey, which a lot of pancake turns out to be. Oh, so good. With the chewy, savory bonito flakes on top, big chunks of seafood. Is that the best pancake you ever had, Korean pancake? This might be the best Korean dumpling I've ever had. Oh, the noodle is here. So pretty. Oh my gosh. Mussels, clams, squash. This is like the ultimate broth. I remember going to uh, Qingdao in China, my first time there. We will go clammy on the beach and then just make it into a simple light broth. And this is exactly what we have here. <gasps> How adorable is this? Anybody remember that anime? Did this guy eventually blow up the world or not? I got like 10% in and I'm just like, this is, he's just teaching. I don't know, I, I love him as a teacher. I don't want him to blow up the world. He should continue teaching and maybe go up to higher education or something. But hope you made an impact on those students that were trying to kill you. Let's try. So good. Mm. Hand pulled noodles. Ah, oh, that broth is so satisfying. Slight little bit of briny seafood flavor. 
Oh, the texture is so nice. These are my three favorite things here. Steamed dumplings and pancake. I feel like the pancake and the dumplings you have to get. If you can't like, eat a whole bowl of noodles, just go for the dumpling and the pancake, right? But if you can, you should definitely get the noodles too. All right, so let's go get some sweet. Oh my God, it's so cute. I'm a hot pot head. You want to be a hot pot head? Can I wear it tonight? Yeah, show, show, show them what, what, what you got. Hot pot head. You want a pink, right? Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Stopping over at 520 dessert again, just to, just to pop by. I don't really like this uh, dessert hot pot, or more like dessert dry ice volcano looking thing they got here. <laughs> mm. Oh, sticky rice. I know this is just dry ice and stuff, but it's cool. This is like, I like it, you know? It's, it's, it's just visually beautiful. It's like a fruity volcano. So today, Sophie called me. And this is why we're hanging out, because you told me, I didn't really understand the whole thing. Okay. But what was it? What is it? So, Ellen Young. This is Ellen. Ellen, you you work for the government. Ah, uh, yes. What do you do? Uh, I'm the senior advisor to Assemblyman Ron Kim, representing Flushing. But I'm also the uh, first Asian female elected official uh, holding the same position, Assemblywoman. I come to find out that Ellen is like a pioneer for Asian Americans, especially Asian American women. Yeah, Homie, my does. Idol. She is your she idol. Is my she idol. sounded really awesome for you, what you were telling me. And I still didn't understand what was going on today. I feel like I don't deserve what's coming to me. What, what is this? You are getting an award from the New York State Assembly, and Ellen can show you the certificate. So, Ellen, right? am I getting an awa but, award? Yeah. <laughs> what is like? I don't feel like I deserve any of this. What, what is this? Every year, New York City Assembly presents citations to people that had great achievements through the year, or throughout the year. So, Mike, congratulations! You've been selected and highly recommended, representing our community to receive this career achievement citation. Wow! I don't feel like I deserve any of this, <laughs> but. <laughs> But wow, I oh, appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's so humbling. Thank you. Whoever, any person who has impact to improve other people's lives deserves it. And your program, your dedication, your effort and achievement, you have worldwide fans watching your program. I feel honored able to represent the New York State Assembly to present this to you. Wow. To Mr. Mike Chen. Wow. New York state assembly thank you so much thank you so much <laughs> this is awesome congratulations thank, thank you guys for also for making this possible too because nobody watches this program if nobody watches this program so cool this will find its place permanently on the dash of my car seriously you mean you can't give me a parking ticket look at this now we're gonna go for a hot pot are you, are you hungry still no you're gonna eat though right hell yeah yeah nice thank you for both of them work you been to sound before, right? Yeah. So apparently they have all you can eat hot pot now. All you can eat skewers hot pot. And it's gonna be up on the roof of the New World Mall. Mm. So let's go check. Whoa! Look at that. This is crazy. Yo, what up? So this place, when you want to get your ingredients, you come over here and you grab one of these little tray thingies. Oh my God. Okay, so you got some dim sum stuff here. Some ribs, chicken feet, dumplings. Got the meat fridge here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is all your veggies. So all the vegetables, everything you used to seeing on a face stall, it's all here. Whole crabs, potatoes, celery, wood ear, skewers as well. And already made noodles as well. Lotus roots, 
this looks good. And you just put it in here. Ooh, pig ear. Gotta say, th this is pretty cool. Some goose feet, bamboo. All right, once you got your little, I don't know, thingamajiggy full of uh, ingredients you want in your hot pot, time to make the sauce. Some sesame. One more. Okay. Cha cha, one scoop. Garlic? This much? Yeah. Okay, just a tiny dab of xiang chu. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Tiny. Go. Go, go, go. Lao gan ma. Yeah, one scoop. Okay. Soy sauce. One scoop. Two. Xiang cai. All right. This is actually so fun. Last summer. She's my foodie connection to flushing. Yeah, just go ahead, go ahead. Mav, you're a dumper like me, buddy. As much as I love eating by myself, hot pot is more fun with more people. Mm. This is actually really good. This is a kidney. Mm. The tomato broth here at this hot pot place Number one tomato broth of any hot pot place I've had ever. And we got pig ear. So this is like hot pot slash dim sum meal. Mm. Oh, I love potatoes and hot pot. This is really nice, just sitting on the rooftop. You know, on top of flushing, feels relatively safe because the air is flowing really nicely. Your clothes doesn't stink like hot pot when you're sitting here eating. I feel I like the spicy broth better than Heidi Lal's because Heidi Lal's is so nummy. Like it's gonna numb your feelings away. If you're a really sensitive person, go to Heidi Lal and get their spicy hot pot. You will be a whole lot less sensitive afterwards. I really like Xiang's uh, tomato broth. This is really good. So far, I haven't been to a lot of all you can eat places after COVID started, but this is a really good experience. I like it. You guys like it? It's pretty good. When you're eating hot pot, you gotta bring protection. Because it will splatter. I love fish and I love noodles. This is just efficiency. Even if you don't like fish, you might still like these noodles. That's so good. I feel like when it's gone from the stick, I have a sense of, sense of accomplishment. I'm like, I ate it all. It's clean. You know when you eat skewers and you just like pile all the sticks? Yeah, it's like, like my favorite skewers. Huh. Have you guys watched the Dark? Netflix? Mm. Like now it's getting colder and darker. I think this experience just got better. It's like the climate is working yeah, with you, you working with your hot pot loving yeah, life. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, no more Sucking the broth from a crab leg. Mm. It was so funny. Oh, that's a whole new experience for me. <laughs> I'm get the spice from the broth and the sweet crab meat and all that spices and, 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 and flavor trapped inside. I think this might be one of my favorite hot pot experiences. And as it gets darker, they have lights come on, so you can just continue your onslaught of this hot pot. All you can eat. We're gonna stay here for like ever. A few moments later. Okay, thing with the hot pot, going for dessert. Young's dessert bar. This is a good place. I've been here a uh, long time ago and they're opening just for us. I love this. It's like a lychee rosy soda. What do you think, buddy? Real good. What is it? Describe it for us. Crispy chocolate hazelnut shell outside with chocolate juice ice cream inside. You heard it right there. Oh, it's so good. It's very, very, very fluffy and like the top is like cloud like. So, like this next one, bubble tea bun. Oh, this is really good. Oh, it's so light. It looks heavy, but it's not. It's so light. Oh, I probably one of the better boba cream puffs I've ever had. This is really interesting. So, Mooncake Festival is coming up. They have a lava mooncake. I've never seen a lava mooncake before. 
salted egg. We Asians love our eggs salted. Getting my daily dose of vitamin C. I'm actually planning on leaving for South Korea in a week, so a lot of things to wrap up. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go and do uh, some chip tasting. I'm, I'm trying to create like a, like a series of chips, and then we're doing some photo shoot for the Hot Pot kit that's coming up. I'm really trying to bring Hot Pot to like everybody who wants a Hot Pot. I really want everyone who's never had a Hot Pot to have a Hot Pot, and those who love hot pots to have more hot pot. I basically want everybody to be a hot pot head. And also this was my first hot pot meal with so many people. And we did make sure that everyone was tested over the last week or so. I'm just trying to be safe. As always, all the places I went to listed for you down below. Again, thank you so much to New York and you guys for the incredible citation. Quite a surprise, quite a lovely surprise. All right, good night.